fucking tired, yeah. So what's up? What you say? Feeling good, I'm feeling great. What it do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about the roadmap for Anthem that's going to be like the month after Anthem officially drops, we're going to be talking about like all the stuff that we're supposed to get um, and I'll be showing you guys official images from Bioware. The people over there at um, Bioware have been really, really good about giving us information about everything that we should know when it comes to what we should expect after the game releases. And I I think that that's actually pretty dope they had amazing amazing feedback throughout both of the demo weekends and i just i i think it's awesome i think it's awesome i feel like that they have something to prove based on the fact of the past eo bumps and blunders you know what i mean so because of that they're taking extra care and i feel like that's an awesome thing for them to do for them to be on their toes about it and i think that that's going to be really awesome and it proves a lot for the game and the game's future before we get into the actual roadmap guys i want to tell you guys that my giveaway is still going on so you guys can go into the description uh and click that link and you guys can get registered um i'm pretty sure all the information is there on the page so you guys uh, can just go ahead and get that done and um hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video but with that being said let's hop back into it now when i i'm going to show you guys the images that were released but for me they were a little hard to kind of follow and for some of the people that i've been talking to they couldn't even like because it doesn't really do itself justice but we've actually gotten some actual things about what it on what everything is on this page so i'm gonna go ahead and like i said i showed you guys the images and we're gonna go ahead and talk about it so act one is echoes of reality which includes new events quality of life updates new rewards and expanded progression system now the expanded progression system is what i can believe to be like more uh, so after you hit late game like uh like you know you won't have to worry about like this before level 30 is what i mean this is going to definitely be like after you guys get to the like the end game and you guys are grinding through your levels and trying to get better gear and things like that they have a new stronghold which we knew was going to be coming and they have talked about guilds and leaderboards i'm not really sure what leaderboards really like what really matters with the leaderboards to be honest but guilds big groups of people that you're going to be able to play with regularly party be able to party up with uh probably join you know fairly fast and things like that so you know we can you if you're already up got a big group of people that want to play you know guilds will be there shortly after and then we have new missions and the cataclysms so the first cataclysm should be if you guys didn't know what a cataclysm is is it's a direct world event actually they did a small shaper storm slash cataclysm at the end of the um at the end of the beta on the second week like the the public demo so this which is the gameplay you guys are watching in the back it's me versus the titan uh solo so it's going to be very cool i don't know if they're going to just go to hop back into that one if that one's the one they have pre-planned or if they have different ideas but the cool thing about the cataclysms is that it's a direct change to the environment and world you know so it could be you know certain things whereas certain monsters get more strong at night uh it could be different it could be different things it, we don't know and that's the cool thing about it and it's it makes it really unique that or not necessarily unique because like i said they've they've already gone on record to say like you know it's kind of something that that they were able to you know uh, build upon from fortnite but it's something that you know is always going to add something fresh to the game you know hopefully they don't have repeats and hopefully each different cataclysm is something new and that's something that i'm truly excited for when it comes to this game uh based on the fact that like i don't think like there's been different events in other rpgs that's nothing different but uh, the fact that it directly affects the world you're playing in i think that's pretty awesome like um you know throughout the whole day you know it, the the storms like the the weather was more rainy and it was it, it all changed throughout the day and i thought that was so awesome because the build-up was insane uh so that was act one which is broken up into three updates starting in march evolving world stronger together and the cataclysm now along with that we have also on this is another image where they released the fact that there will be act two and three coming in later months but they are just because they're on the roadmap we haven't had any dates or information on these but as soon as we do guys we will have it directly on the channel so hopefully you guys stick around for that if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys leave a like down below make sure you guys are also clicking that sub button and that bell for more anthem content down the road and if you guys have any questions, you guys can leave those inside of my comment section. But with that being said, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.